I have always been obsessed with this set of videos here on YouTube. I just love to see the attention that creators put on each of the details and dream of being part of that community and have my own. Along with all the problems brought by the pandemic, there's also came the opportunity and need for me to create my own workspace where I can feel productive, happy and comfortable. Hello, my name is Juan Felipe, I'm starting my career as a content creator. Welcome to my channel, to my first video, and welcome to my minimal and budget friendly desk setup tour. And if you see anything interesting, I will also leave the links to all the products in this video. The first thing to show you is the base on which the entire setup is supported, the desk itself. And as you read in the title, I am keeping it budget friendly, so I decided for the classic 1.5 meters IKEA Lino, this time with the oak like finish. I prefer it that way instead of the complete white as it helps to add another layer of texture and color to the setup. Like many of the IKEA products, the quality may not be the highest, but it is a solid enough to hold everything on top of it. I don't want to talk about the IKEA desk too much because I know that many of you may know it already. What I think may be less common are the legs that I have here. The Lerberg that despite their weak appearance, they provide greater stability than adults by having a third point of support and contact with the ground, which keeps the wiggle of the desk to a minimum, almost zero. On top of the desk, I also have an IKEA trunk hold combined with four capital legs to create a custom-made desk shelf, which helps me to have another level in the desk, keep things organized and add more storage to the system. For peripherals, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I am using a Dell Combo, the KM7120W. I was in the market looking for a keyboard that looked minimal, no RGB or strong colors, and the options that always came out for me were basically summarized into the Logitech MS keys. But for me, at that moment, it was out of the budget. So one day, I just went into Dell store to check the option they had and found this. The keyboard is fairly minimal in design as I want it to be, with a great plastic body that doesn't feel cheap or flimsy at all. The black keys have good travel and feel firm while typing. It has the numeric pad to which I have always been used to, so it was a no-brainer for me. Completing the combo is the mouse, which has a really good and clean minimal look too, makes it look much more premium than it actually is. It has a plastic body and is finished with different tones of grey similar to the keyboard. The shapes and size of the mouse really helps me with the ergonomics, which is important for me since I have big basketball hands. The combo comes with an USB wireless adapter. The combo comes with an USB wireless adapter that allows you to connect it to your PC. And they also have built-in Bluetooth, allowing up to three devices to be paired at the same time. I've heard very little about these devices and combo online, which is strange for me because they have seemed to be quite good, elegant and ergonomic. If you are looking for clean and minimal peripherals and trying to stay on the budget, I recommend you to take a look at this pair as it can cost you less than 70 bucks. I have both on this cheap desk mat made of fake leather, it's functional and comfortable enough. Powering the whole setup is my laptop, and this is the MSI GF63. With a 15-inch 1080p 144Hz screen, Core i7 9th generation, 16GB of RAM, 512GB of SSD, and this thing is a beast, capable of running recent games at 1080p with great quality and no lag whatsoever. It has a brushed metal finish on the front kinda shiny that attracts some fingerprints and the rest of the body is a black hard plastic. But since I don't have too much time to play, I use it mostly for content creation, which is why programs like Premiere Pro, Illustrator or Photoshop are a must on this laptop and it runs them without any issues. It's really great great value that you get for around 1000 bucks 
or even less since this is a 2019 model. The laptop stays under the shelf and connected most of the time. Also sometimes I can take it out and use it as a second display while multitasking. For the display I'm using the BenQ 32 inch EW3270U. At first I was worried that it was too big to use as a normal desktop monitor. And it is, but in less than two days I got used to the size. I plan to make a video only dedicated to this monitor, as it has so many features that I will be here for a long time. But to sum it up, uh, 60Hz, beautiful 4K sharp resolution, free sync, BenQ's eye care technology, USB Type-C, different pictures profile, and so on. I was hesitating about buying this monitor and a 1080p resolution ultrawide, and in the end I decided on this as it was an special price on Amazon. No regrets so far. For content creation it's quite good, since it has up to 95% DCI-P3 color coverage supports high dynamic range, HDR, and to edit videos, the gigantic screen allows to have a pretty large timeline. In a nutshell, if you're a graphic designer, photographer, video editor, or you just want a great 4K monitor for multimedia, then this should be a great choice to consider. Getting into accessories, I got the Google Nest Hub. This is a kind of controversial part since many people think they are useless and they don't have much functionality. But let me explain you something. It is one of those things you don't really need. But once you use and integrate them into your daily routine, then you can live without them. It is tremendous the possibilities you have while working and having this device next to you. Calculators, play music, reminders, weather, news, timers that are so important for my productivity. All of this plus the compatibility they have with a lot of third-party devices on the market made the decision really easy. A part of this, the Google Nest Hub is obviously a speaker. Although the sound is not perfect, it is enough to fill a small living room with music. To all this, you can add the possibility to use it as a second display, in which I can play YouTube videos or some like shows on Netflix while working. My main audio source, I can say, that are my headphones. The Logitech G Pro X are a gaming headset, yes, but don't be fooled, they have a high quality sound, with soft and deep notes, which makes them perfect for lo-fi and chill hop music, which is what I listen to 80% of the time. I don't have to say anything when it comes to gaming, they are spectacular with a good ambient sound. They are quite comfortable. I use them for many hours without any problem at all. They are finished in a kind of leather-like material with silver details that make them look quite minimal, which is rare in this gaming headset market, and I love that. I connect them to the PC with the audio interface that comes bundled with the headsets, allowing to unfold their true potential and a wide range of sound customization, including the integrated blue microphone. I leave them on a simple headphone hanger that I found on Amazon, allowing me to save space on the desk and keep them always at easy access. For lighting, most of the day I use natural light, since it is exactly next to the window, but for when it is necessary, I have this beautiful lamp that I got in a store called Flying Tiger here in Spain. I could not find the link to it, but it's worth checking through the page to see their products. They have awesome things there. For RGB lighting, I'm using this Govi LED light strip, which helps me to further customize the setup with a soft and calm light that I can mix with the monitor wallpaper and helps me to create a warm and cozy atmosphere at night. 
finally I have this hostel sign that I found quite cheap on Aliexpress for only 17 bucks. Something funny, I thought this was real neon and in reality there are some bars made of a kind of silicone material with some LED strips inside that resembles neon. I was expecting a lot less so I think it's fine. It helps to add personality to the space. Speaking of decoration, I have some IKEA Fisbo that are these posters frames. I found the posters online and simply print them. The Joker was one of the last movies I enjoyed before quarantine. My beautiful dark twist fantasy from Kanye West is one of my favorite albums of all time. This is inspired by the poster of the Pothole Shop. Shout out to them. And just a classic get shit done motivational poster. I also have a pegboard hanging on the side wall. This helps me store some random things that would otherwise be laying on the desk or in drawers. And since I don't have one, this was a good solution. Here I keep tape, some cables, and I also have some posters and pictures that I can change at any time, as well as some diffusers. This is from Sarah Home. To all that, I add a couple of traditional IKEA fake plants. One important thing for me is this lint remover. It helps keep the entire space free of dust and lint. Definitely an essential here. Finally, we got the chair, which is one that I found on Amazon that suited my budget. Nothing special, it just seemed that it had good finish and good style. And once I tried it, I realized it has enough ergonomic features and helps me to stay in a proper position and distant from the desk and the screen. Each of the pieces that make up the setup have the function of being part of a great project and dream that I had in my mind for a long time. It is already 99% finished, and I say this because there is always room for improvement and changes. For example, I'm keeping an eye on Black Friday promos to get a custom made PC. I would also like to test the hype behind mechanical keyboards and make other small changes that I have in mind. But hey, it's all part of the process. If you enjoyed the video and my setup, be sure to like it, subscribe and join me in this new journey on YouTube. Nothing more to say, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.